All new at 10, a 41 Action News exclusive. A teenager has a message for women after a man violated her privacy. I had fully undressed. I was, um, like, I looked down and I saw the phone. She spoke in court today facing the man who did it. And she hopes her message will help others avoid what she had to endure. A 16 year old girl named Emily hopes every girl and woman will take a good look at this picture she took. We aren't using her last name to maintain her privacy. I had fully undressed. I was um, like I looked down and I saw the phone angled on the pair of jeans moving closer. A man in the stall next to her had folded his jeans and placed his phone camera pointed up on his jeans. She says he adjusted the angle and that's when she became suspicious. He would bend down and move it closer, which it was my first thing. So I decided to take like a Snapchat picture of it. That picture, along with another victim a month later at the same store, helped catch the guy who did this to both of them. This man, Anthony DeLapp. He's from Joplin, Missouri, but was in court in Johnson County, Kansas. He pleaded guilty to what he'd done. You should never have to be the victims of such a selfish act. Approximately 100 images were found of this type of filming. Of those, there were six uh, uh, distinct images that showed uh, women in a state of undress. Jason Covington from the Johnson County District Attorney's Office says they have no way of knowing who those other women are. He sees these kinds of cases all the time. We've seen this uh, everywhere, whether it be a grocery store, a retailer, at a gas station, at a shopping mall, bathroom, you name it, we've seen it. Forever 21 is just one of several retailers with co-ed dressing rooms with only partial partitions, meaning they don't go all the way to the floor and ceiling. Emily was also in court today. She bravely read her victim impact statement in court. She'd shared it with us before. As a teenage girl, my world has forever been changed by this. I am more cautious now because I realize the threat of being unaware. Emily's dad is determined to help protect others from what his daughter had to endure. Continue to help others who have been through this to work with you to increase awareness of this issue that when your daughters or sons go shopping, that they have to be aware of their surroundings. Emily's friends came to support her today and say they are definitely more aware now. Are all of you girls more aware now because of what Emily's been through? Yeah, for, for sure. sure. So it's really important, especially if dressing rooms are going to be co-ed, that the walls go down all the way to the floor. There's personnel on staff trained to deal with the situation if it does happen again. She knows stories like hers will help bring about that change. A similar case is underway in Lenexa. 44-year-old Jonathan Phelan from Olathe is charged with breach of privacy as well. This incident allegedly happened back in March. He is accused of taking pictures and video of women inside the dressing room at Nordstrom Rack. It is another store with co-ed dressing rooms that its walls don't go to from floor to ceiling. Nordstrom told us the safety and privacy of their customers is a top priority.